Hi everyone, thank you for watching Africa Social Television and also thank you for subscribing to Africa Social Television, liking our content and sharing it. And uh, my name is Jidana. I'm been working on a story uh, coming in from Nigeria. Nigerian Vice President survives a plane crash. Nigeria Vice President survives a triple crash weeks before election. Uh, this happened in Abuja. A helicopter carrying Nigeria's Vice President crash uh, landed on Saturday en route to a political campaign two weeks before an election. But he survived the incident in central Koji State and Ham, uh, saying later he was safe and sound. Nigerian go to polls on Feb 16th to elect a new president in an election where the incumbent Mohamed Buhari and his deputy have been touring the country to woo voters for voters for a second term in office. Now a video on the Twitter account of the vice president Yemi Osibanjo showed him cheering to supporters after the incident. He also posted he is safe and sound. Now the cause of the accident was not immediately clear as spokesperson Laudo Akande said the vice president was continuing his engagements in Koji State. The vice president of Sibanjo's chopper crash landed in Kaba, but he and the entire crew is safe. That's what the spokesperson tweeted. Nigerian airlines are plagued by problems of delays, cancellations, and fuel shortages that are almost expected from domestic passengers. However, safety records have been improving in recent years. Now, political party candidates have been campaigning across the country to market their plans on how they intend to lead one of Africa's top economics over the next four years, with the key issues being corruption, security, and the economy. Buhari is hoping his anti-corruption agenda can win him a second term, while the main opposition candidate, Hatiku Abubakar, has said he would consider an amnesty of corruption suspects and privatize the state-owned oil company, NNPC. That is all we've been working on uh, today at Africa Social Television. Uh, subscribe for more stories. And also, don't you forget to touch the bell for all those updates. Let's keep it here. Juliana is my name.